What's poppin' Raiders? I'm Caitlin Marshall. And I'm Olivia Giardino. First of all, congrats on your Raider Day. Yesterday, thanks to your generosity, we raised $896 and some change for the Tennyson Center in less than a day. Wow. Today on RJTV, we sit down with junior Jake O'Reilly to hear about Christ in the City. Olivia and I take you to the trash audit that took place last week. Maddie Plank and Mary Bell toss us into the hockey team's annual teddy bear toss. Armando Maldonado and Angela Servo Marfell bring you an exciting sports spotlight, and Shen McConnell has the review for you and it's all happening right here right now on, on RJ TV So Liv, did you have fun at the Red Rocks dance last Friday? Yes, and the best part was knowing one of my daughters was going to a good cause. But what was that cause? I can't quite remember. Don't worry, I know someone who has the info. Oh yeah, that's right. We talked to Jake O'Reilly to hear about his service experience at Christ in the City and how much of a difference we were able to make with $700. Christ in the City is a really cool organization. They are based out of downtown Denver and they have two main focuses. The first one is that they help the homeless around the area. And the second one is that they host missionaries who they feed, house, and really they raise them up in taking care of the homeless and encountering them. So every second Saturday and every Wednesday, they host a lunch down in the park in downtown Denver. And they really just be with these homeless people and meet them where they're at. And it's really, really cool. Thanks, Caitlin. You're welcome, Liv. So do you know how to compost? Can't say I know much, Caitlin, but I think a lot of us are in the same boat. Definitely. And that's why Olivia and I went to the trash audit. We talked to the Environmental Club and the Chemistry Club about their goals this Lenten season. Check it out. So we're going to start by baselining the trash audit today. So we're going to get a feel for where we are at the beginning. And then we're going to put improvement processes um, in throughout the season of Lent. And then we'll do the audit again at the end of Lent to see how we improved. So we have a goal of uh, improving our recycling um, process here at Regis. Here's how you can help. Students can educate themselves. The main thing is we want to make sure we get the right things in the right bins and so that it's less work once we get to the recycling facility. Um, it's a big problem right now. Obviously with uh, global warming and climate change going on, we just want to do the best we can do to affect our community and what goes on and what we can control. Uh, why what we're doing today is important is because the more the more we learn about the impact that we have um, in a negative way on our planet, the more uh, we feel inspired to do something about that. This is Olivia Giordino and Caitlin Marshall for RJTV. The audit revealed that 72% of what was in the trash bins was actually compostable. We can definitely do better. Remember, this is the trash can. This goes in here. <laughs> This is the compost bin. And all of this goes in here. <laughs> this is the recycling bin. Things like this go in here. The graphic design classes have been creating original designs to inspire our mission season theme of caring for our common home, the planet. Check out this one by Elsa Pater. Up next, it's Angela Servo Marfelt and Armando Maldonado with your sports spotlight. What's up, Raiders? I'm Armando Maldonado. And I'm Angela Servo Marfo. Here with your sports spotlight. Playoffs are in full spring for all of your winter sports teams. First off, your boys basketball team played an exceptional game Wednesday against the Denver East Angels. After a scoreless third quarter, the Raiders came back and knocked off the 13th seed, final score 62 to 58. Your boys play Saturday at 2 p.m. at the Coliseum for the Great Eight against Grandview. Be there. Your girls team has also made it to the Great Eight after an incredible win against Bloomfield High School. They secured the win with a score of 58 to 51. They play after school today at 4 p.m. at the Denver Coliseum against Highlands Ridge, so be there! Unfortunately, Raiders Sports Network will not be able to broadcast the rest of the playoffs because Chassa restricts student broadcast deep in the playoffs. Boo! But we will keep you updated on RJ Media, Instagram, and Twitter, but you should be in the stands anyway. They need your support! Hockey skated in the Frozen four last night at the Pepsi Center. They unfortunately fell to Valor, but congratulations to the boys on a wonderful season. We are proud of you and proud of the way you come together as a family in tough times. And for the service you do, RJTV reporters Mary Bell and Maddie Plank visited Children's Hospital with the team for the annual teddy bear toss drop-off. Here's the story. Back-to-back -back state champions boys varsity hockey brings us behind the scenes of the annual teddy bear toss. 
The team is dedicated to service and living out the Regis Jesuit mission both on and off the ice. All of the teddy bears thrown are donated to Children's Hospital. Senior Captain Nolan Sargent and teammates Hero Schmidt and Nicholas Bauer explain the significance of this tradition. I believe it's important for our sports team just to help out in the community because it builds a good uh, reputation for our school and um, it helps other people and families in need. The influence of this event never goes unrecognized. I think it's important because it allows us to reach out to the community and show that we're thinking about people less fortunate than us and people that ha don't have as, as well off as we do going to Regis. And it just allows us to give some, give some laughter and give some joy to people that don't experience it that much on a daily basis. The joy they bring to the children is one thing that makes this tradition so special for the team. I think it's important that our team does a service because uh, it's bringing our team closer and we're bonding a lot better. And uh, I think it's good to get out in the community and do more service. This is Maddie Plank and Mary Bell for RJTV. Thanks, Mary and Maddie. We will also keep you updated on the rugby team. They secured an exciting win against Monarch 85-5 last week on Friday night. They play tomorrow at 2 against Pikes Peak at the Air Force Academy. I think that's all we got for this week, Angela. I'm Armando Maldonado. And I'm Angela Saramarva. And let's go Raiders! Woo! Back to you in the studios. Thanks, Angela and Armando. Last but not least, Shen pulled through with your favorite segment. Here's Shen McConnell with a fan favorite. Let's get the review. We got Jets Pizza, one by Everybody Knows the Rules, off Parker Road and I don't know, whatever. A little, little thick, a little thick, cheesy, ooh, sloppage, I don't want that one. A little Yonkers flop, wow, this is greasy. One by Everybody Knows the Rules. Burn my face off, 6.2, that's a review. I forgot the crust, so we're gonna try some of the crust. Still 6.2. Thanks, Shen. I think that's all we have for this week. Sorry to disappoint, I know I'm no Skylar Kane. I'm usually the one behind the computer. <laughs> you did great, Liv. <laughs> On that note, have an exceptional day, Raiders. I'm Olivia Giardino. And I'm Caitlin Marshall. See, See ya. ya.